On this video, we're gonna be unpacking the Duracell 30J. As we unpack it, we open up the flaps fully on all sides because we're gonna flip the Duracell over on the side. It's a lot easier to unpack that way. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but it's generally a lot easier. Now we flip it back over on this side and open up, as it says, this side up. And we're gonna open it on up. The distiller will be sitting inside and we just we'll take out the stuffing and other items within the distiller and set them aside. This is what you'll see within the distiller. Set that aside and pull it out. You then set the distiller right side up again, and you can see it is braced and well packed, and you simply cut the straps. And we'll take the lid off. Make sure you set everything aside here in one area. The cap is in, put in there, it's upside down. And then take the wrapping off the top. There's cardboard within your boiling chamber and that's set in there because there's a float ball and stem. And they don't want that, that they don't want rattling around and it protects uh, the float ball. So you make sure that you take that on off and you remove an additional piece of cardboard. So you're taking these two parts out of the boiling chamber. Set those aside. These can be discarded. You have your directions. As you see here on the very top of the distiller, you just set that aside for future use. So at this point, we lift the distiller off the cardboard and we have our distiller as such. Now we're going to set it aside, aside like this, turning it over one more time on its top. We also have a post filter to take a look at. And uh, we, again, once simply just open up the package. We have a hose, which we will place at this point, at this particular spot. Now the hose may be a little tricky to come on because it is tight and it's to fit securely on that particular position. And if it does give you a little bit of a resistance such as this, then you probably need to put it in some warm water because it is made to be secure on the stem. Once it's totally secure and you put it on top of the stem or over the stem, then you tighten it with this particular O-ring which is brought on which you uh, simply place on it and tighten up. This is what you'll have. Now what we want to do next is turn the distiller on over onto its legs. And we're still using this as a shield to protect whatever you're putting it on. And we flip it back over. At this point in time is when you'd want to put your cap, which was set up here before. We've taken it off and we're going to add the knob to it as well and the crossbar. The crossbar should go on first. So we'll place the crossbar on top of the lid 
and then we'll put the knob on top of that. We simply get the lid. There's a couple of stems that are sticking up with, with, uh, with threads that you'll see. You just set it on that particular area. You make sure at the same time that your lid is squared. So you take a look at your lid cap, it is squared. Now I can move the, the top brace bar on top of that. Start tightening up the, the wing nuts. We're tightening down the knob as well, bringing that down to, a, to not quite to tighten it all the way down. You may take a look at it and think you may have to secure this to the crossbar or bring it down to that level and you don't need to do that. You just tighten it up as far as you can and you secure the lid with the two wing nuts. Just simply tighten them down. Once again, making sure that the lid cap is squared away and secure. I want to tip it over slightly so that you can see something that's engineered to be this way. And it's called a gas escape portal. So at the top of the serpentine coil, and I'll tip this over just slightly, you'll see a very small hole here at the very top. That's engineered that way to allow the volatile gases to escape. So there's no worry about that. It's the way it's designed.